In the state of Alabama, you either root for Auburn or for Alabama on this day near the close of every college football season. The city of Birmingham, you can drive down any street, in fact, in the whole state, probably any road, and have no competition on the highway. Everybody's inside to watch number four, Alabama, take on pesky old foe Auburn at Legion Field in Birmingham, where we may have an all-time record crowd today. And this ABC Sports exclusive indicate a lovely feature. And here comes the time. by the bear. There he is. Joey Jones is deep for Alabama. Dave Flanks kicks it off for the blue-shirted Auburn Tigers, and the game is underway. It is Lenny Patrick on the far sideline, bringing it back up the field, and the Tigers swarm him. Right now, a five-man, six-man front up there for Auburn. And they go inside with it, and the Plainsman had him. Ken Simon carrying the ball again for his end of the punt. Malcolm Simmons averaging just under 44 yards per kick. It is not a particularly good punt. It does take an Alabama bounce. However, it is picked up by the Auburn man on the move. It is... Dead run! He may go! No, it's caught from behind. It's Chuck Clinton from Pensacola. alternates his quarterback the so-called designated quarterback system it is third down at about six and it's into the middle for the ball carrier Ron O'Neill a 245 Al Del Greco out of Joe Sullivan's hold it is in the air and he missed it state stun number one Pittsburgh 48 to 14 the ball is on the 17 second down and 13 Gray keeps it and he's loose down the sidelines with some help. He gets one block. And now they get him all the way down at the Auburn 20. The Alabama offensive unit sealed off the left side. Auburn was overcommitted. Different offensive set for Alabama. As Gray goes to the right side and gets around the corner. Inside the 15 to the 13 before he there with an all block to carry the ball. Outside it goes to the roof, to the corner, to the goal line, short. The hit, Greg Carr, sophomore from Birmingham. Gray keeps. Touchdown, Alabama. Course of the season. Now back and ready to kick. Young man from Honolulu. Nails it out of Gray's hold, and it's good. So Alan Griff, you have a number 89 in the backfield now. That's Mike Edwards. James goes in motion. Hobby is in his quarterback. Pressure zone, trying to set up a screen to the sidelines. They've got some room. They've got a first down. Pass goes to the tight end, Ed West. The tight ends. James goes in motion. Passes away, the pass is complete to Ed West. And West is inside the 20 and down at the 18. Buford now in at quarterback. He gives it to Peoples, and Peoples almost popped out of there with it. He gets it down to about the 10. Buford breaks his bone now, leaving Peoples the long remaining back. The double wing set up, and he has the ball, and he has the first down as he reaches the Alabama 8. First at... Hobby back, looks to throw it, throws, it is intercepted, I believe. Yes, intercepted by Tommy Wilcox, the man that Pat Dye and his staff. Away the quarterback, he's got a first down. As he reaches the 15. Mark Kraut, the tight end, flexes out wide to the left, top of the picture. Ray sets up to throw it. Auburn gets it. Edmund Nelson again comes roaring in, number 99, and drops the up. Ball is just outside. The Tigers 48, first down for Auburn. And Sullivan gives it to Woods, and Christopher Woods coming around the corner on the reverse. 
gets it down to about the Alabama 41 where he is brought down by Jimmy Watts playing defensive end. Second down, nine from the 30, one yard line as Hobby sets up, throws for the corner. Incomplete intended for Christopher Woods. Knocking it away, and about nine. Al Blue is now in there, defensive secondary. They send it inside, and there isn't much in there. The advance at Auburn on the scoreboard. It's up. He missed it for the right again. He missed the first one on the right side at about seven. A little more than seven. Lewis to Carruth. Carruth is caught and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. In his possession. It's third down and two after the penalty. The pass is away to the sideline. The pass is completed to Tommy. You might look for it here. Well, you've got Jones and Bendross both in. Bendross is a tight end. Tight end, right. He's going to throw it out of the end zone. Well, he didn't need it. Walter Lewis, who has, I think, great leg strength. Down. All the time, just over the 15, and Walter Lewis drops it. He looks downfield. He lets it go downfield. And the pass is caught by Tim Clark, and then he can't hold on. Third and long. And they give it off to Simon, and Simon does not get the first down. A little delay coming with Simon. First down from the 37. Look oh, at this. Peoples is out there. It's, it's a foot race. And it's touchdown. Del Greco tries for the tie. It's good. 3.47 to play in the first half and a 63 yards for the touchdown. Ball is very close to the 12. Alan Gray coming toward the corner and takes a lick. At the 10. Fumbles, Fumbles and Auburn recovers it. Mark Germany came in and felt it. Alan Gray and knocked the ball. Wood. Buford now the quarterback. No, it's hot. It's hot. Very James the play good thing. Gets it out to James. James inside the five. Rolled out of the four. Oh, my goodness. He had his under the tee. 22-yard field goal attempt to give Auburn the lead. The snap to stumbles. And Sullivan tries to throw it away and doesn't work. It's a face mask filter, though, Keith, I believe. Penalty flag thrown back on the right the... 20 yard line, so hold on, everything here. Hold on. Second down and six. Walter Lewis drops back to throw, looks for Jones deep down the middle. Jones is out there, well covered, and it is incomplete, intercepted as the ball ricocheted off the cover man. A little triple wing. Triple wing to the top of the picture as Sullivan rolls that way and puts it in the air to the sidelines. And the man is taken out of bounds at the Alabama 40. The offense gets another play and they can kick a field goal. He's got it up. Ball hits the ground. No flag thrown. First half is over. And after one half of play at Leaping Field in Birmingham, Alabama 7 and Auburn. 11 from their own 44 in a tie ball game at 7 and Coley looking for the corner and he finds the corner and he gets it up to midfield so he gains six third down and five from midfield Coley turns it in the middle penalty flag goes down Coley goes down at the base mass against Auburn because they had Alabama stopped on fourth and about two here's Coley and Coley Here's gang tackled as near the Auburn 21. Coley looks to throw. Goes over the middle. Jones knocked away. Great defensive play by Tim Drinkard. Here's to the top of the picture. Coley back to throw. Slips that little shovel pass inside to Bendross. And Bendross has got a first down. Touchdown, Alabama. If not, 
of all time. That's coaching. Kim, the extra point. It's good. That's not him. Bobby Rose that way. Gets his pass off. It's thrown into the seats. Incomplete. And now they drop off. And the kick is away. Not long again. Ball goes through Jones. It's loose. Auburn man chasing it. Clinton can't find it. He's still dribbling it. He falls on it. He's down on the one. It is Auburn football. Can you believe it? This is James for the corner. Touchdown. Del Greco. The kick. It is up. It is just good. Nine. Back to throw it. Got some heat. Gets away. Got some more heat. Gets it off. Pass incomplete. Thrown out of bounds. Frank Royals and Vern Lundquist here at Legion Field in Birmingham with 5.31 to go in the third quarter in a tie ball game at 14 and first down for Auburn. Auburn playing Alabama. Mighty tough. Here goes Peoples. That's the play. He almost... In fact, that's the play he broke the touchdown run on out of the ground. Well, nope, he's going to put it up. He's going for Woods. It's going to be picked off. Benny Perrin makes the interception. Well, he tried to go for the big play, and it backfired on him. As Perrin, Lewis goes outside to Ginyard. And Ginyard has the first down, and the ball comes loose. Auburn says, we've got it, and they do. down and eight now for the Tigers. Sullivan, ball batted down. I don't know if he's batted down so much as he just it. Pressure just barely gets it away. And Jones fumbles again. Auburn's got the ball. down to about 14. Bobby sets up the throw. Goes over the middle. The pass is caught by Carroll. Tommy Carroll makes the catch at the element. Quarterback. First and goal from the five. Peoples is your fullback. And Bobby keeps it. And down he goes. Mike Pitts was right there to make the stop on him. I believe they can inch it up. It's at the seven now after the two-yard loss. Second down and goal. Bobby gives it to Peoples. He's back to the five. Peoples back toward the center of the field to about the three. Two, and now this is a 19-yarder. The kick is good this time. Walter's pass in the air is good. And Bendross has a first down out at the 41. Here's Lewis on a roll. Man headed by the face mask. And he falls away from that. And here's a... I think a touchdown on third down may come back to Horty. He's open for the touchdown. Bendross, touchdown. Geeky was lined up at tight end. in for the kick. He hooks it and he gets it in. Battle this year. Buford trying to go down the line on the option. Can't do it. Robbie Jones penetrated and got him. Lewis at quarterback. That's Lenny Patrick. Can't hold him. Look out. What a Tough determined run by Lenny Patrick. That was his best run of the season for him, I'm sure. No question. Second down, eight. Patrick again. Touchdown.
people exult in there for Alabama. Patrick got 47 of the 49 yards on the touchdown drive. Skim's kick is good. It's down from their own 38. And Tommy steps up, wants to go to Woods, does go at Woods. And they get 44 yards. Tommy's pass is good to Tommy Carroll. Down it. If they hold on to win this ball game, and I see no real reason now why they won't, this man, Paul William Bryant, becomes the winningest college football coach in history. Hobby's pass is away, and it is incomplete. 49 seconds to play. Up is Cornell now. The pass is away, could be picked off. It is. And if Heron again, and he's got a lot of daylight. They finally get him out of bounds. Up on the 44 with 23 seconds to play in the football game. That will do it. I don't know if they'll call it or not. Keith, it's amazing. Bear Bryant did not become a head coach until he was 32 years old because of World War II. It's certain time in service. The game is over. The man has made history. 315 wins. This is a basic credo of Paul Bryant. If you believe in yourself and have dedication and pride and never quit, you'll be a winner. The price of victory is high, but so are the rewards. 